Hi, I'm Caitlin, and this is Chris from Vail Health, and we're here to talk about um, some new findings with COVID-19 and how it affects your immune system. Yeah. What are we learning about COVID-19 and especially repeat infections and how it affects your body and your immunity? Yeah, so this, this is concerning information and concerning knowledge. This is something that we didn't know about three years ago or even two years ago, but it appears now that with each infection with COVID-19, it actually degrades your immune system a little bit. The extent of that and the duration of that is still unknown at this time. But if you think of your immune system as a, a photograph book, every time you're exposed to a new virus or bacteria, your immune system takes a picture of that agent. And so next time you're exposed to it or next time you encountered it, your body can respond to it a little quicker. And what they're finding with COVID-19 is that with each infection that you have with COVID-19, it appears that that virus, the SARS-CoV-2 virus in your body, almost erases some of those pictures. So not only previous pictures of COVID potentially, but other pictures of influenza or the common cold or RSV or, or strep. And so there's a lot of thought right now of one of the reasons why we're seeing such an increase of other respiratory illnesses is because our immune system has been downregulated down regulated a bit because of prior exposure to COVID-19. All right, so this is yeah. definitely another message of why we wanna keep protecting ourselves. Yes. Is there anything else you wanna No, about but I think you hit it perfectly. So the most important thing is, and, we, and we've been saying this now for three years, is stay vaccinated, mm -hmm. stay protected, mask up if you're in, in a, a crowded area and you're immunocompromised, but most importantly, folks need to invest in their health. Um, COVID-19 continues to battle us. We're continuing to learn about it. Uh, there's more about it we don't know than we do know, but we do know it's a serious illness. It leads to long COVID potentially, and your best bet at um, getting through it successfully is to be healthy going in. So we want people to continue to focus on their underlying health and uh, invest in their health. All right, sounds good, thank you. Thanks.